Hey guys, hope you're well. This lesson we're going to be talking about estimation, or maybe you've heard of the word estimate, to estimate something. What it means is to find the answer by making the numbers a little bit easier to work with, or to find, not to find the exact answer, but to find a close answer, a number that's close enough. For example, let's say a person buys the following items from a shop, and then it says estimate. So let's say they spend $14.99 on eggs, uh, that much on milk, bread, and coffee. Now, if you had to add that up, it's pretty difficult. But what we can rather do is just make easier numbers. Make that a 15, make that a 20, uh, make that a 20, make that a 40, for example. You don't have to, do, there's no exact rules with estimating. It's not the same as rounding, where you always have to round up or round down. Um, you can choose what you want. So, for example, you might have changed this to a 10, you might have kept that as a 20, you might have kept that as a 20, but you might have chosen this one as 35. It doesn't really matter. Um, you will get slightly different answers, but with estimating, there's no exact rules, okay? So I'm gonna just stick with those, and then you could just add those um, a little bit easier. So 15 plus 20 is 35. 35 plus 20 is um, 55, and then 55 plus 40 is is 95 rand. So let's say you're in the shops one day and you only have 100 rand with you. Then before you get to the till, and let's say you don't have your phone so you can't use a calculator, then what you would do is you could quickly see how much this would, you could try get a good idea of how much this would cost by using estimating and then you're getting about 95 rand. Now, if we had to go calculate the real answer, the real answer would be, and I'm gonna just do this with a calculator just to show you how close estimating can actually get you. Um, so with a calculator, if you had to add this up, you get 94 Rand, you get 94 Rand and 47 cents. So can you see that it's much faster for us to just estimate? And look, the answer is pretty close, okay? So estimating is a nice way to just find um, not the exact answer, but the answer that's fairly close in a very short amount of time. So many times in life, estimating is actually a very useful tool. Um, it's it's way more better. It, well, that didn't sound so good. It's way more better. It, it, is, it is better to be able to estimate instead of having to always do the accurate calculation because this takes too long, whereas this is nice and fast. Okay, so let's do some more examples. So a bedroom has dimensions. Now what are dimensions? Well, if you have a bedroom, then maybe this length over here is, uh, they said 4.9 meters, and then this over here is 3.2 meters. Now they said estimate the area. Now that's, you know that area of a rectangle is this number multiplied by this number, okay? But that is really difficult to do. Like that is gonna take you a long time to calculate. So what you would rather do is you'll just change this number to a five, just change this number to a three, and then that's easy. Five times three is 15 meters squared. The real answer, so that's called the estimated answer, which is much better to do. Um, but if you wanted the real answer, I'm doing it on a calculator, it would be 15.68. So you see, you get very close by using estimating. Okay, and as I said, there's no exact rules with estimating. You don't have to round up, you don't have to round down. It's not the same as rounding, okay? Um, of course, it's more accurate to round the proper way, but let me show you some more examples. So it says, what is 51.5% of 200? Now, that is a crazy question. You cannot do that without a calculator, okay? So we don't say 51.7% of 200. We just say, what is 50% of 200? So did you know that 50% is half of 100%? So when you say 50%, if you get 50% for a test, it means you got half of the questions right. So 50% is another word for half. So what is half of 200? Well, that would be 100. You see, much easier. Um, so if someone says that, they got 51.7% for a test out of 200, for example, well then you can quickly in your head work out that they got very close to 100. What is the real answer? I'll quickly work that out for us. I need a calculator for that. The real answer is 103.4. But you see how nice and close that is? So estimating is a really nice thing to be able to do, um, especially one day if you're at a work situation, and let's say, for example, you have a boss who says, um, 
we're going to need this, this, and this, and this. And then you can quickly put up your hand and give them a good estimate of what the answer will be. That is a really good skill to be able to have, to give them a good idea. The boss is not necessarily interested in this number. They only need to get a rough idea. And then, yeah, you see, so let's do some more examples. What is 31.20 plus 49.20? Now, that's quite challenging for most people to do. So what we can rather do is just change it to 30 rand and 50 rand. Now, what is 30 plus 50? 80 rand. See how easy that was? And if someone tells you, can you please just give, like let's say you and your friends are at the shop and you're buying some items that are these prices and your friend says they don't know if they're going to have enough money. Well, then you can quickly just say 30 plus 50 is 80 and tell your friend, hey, it's going to be about 80 rand. And then the friend can see if they have enough money. You don't have to go calculate it so accurately, okay? The real answer for this one, for those of you that are interested, is 80 comma four. So 80 rand and 40 cents. You see by estimating, you're only 40 cents off. You're really close to the answer. I think estimating is a really amazing thing to be able to do. Here's another one. 31 rand and 88, uh, 31 rand 88 plus 53 cents. So what you could do here is maybe just change that to 32. And then this you can just change to 50. And then if you say 32 rand and you have 50 cents, then you have 32 rand and 50 cents. You see, that's much easier than trying to work with all these difficult numbers. Let's do three more examples. A person is putting new tiles in their house. Okay, guys, you know the tiles that you have like in, in, in houses? Um, they need 209 tiles, and each tile is going to cost 49 rand 50. Estimate the total price. Okay, so what I would do um, is like, let's say you and your parents are busy shopping for new tiles, and your dad or mom or whatever, um, whoever you're with, they, 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 they just want to get a good idea of what the cost is. They don't need to get the exact cost. So no one has a calculator. So what you could do is you could just change this to 200. And then you could just say that each of them are 50 rand. So then what you could do, for example, is you could say 200. Then you could change 50 into 10 multiplied by 5. Now, 200 multiplied by 10, that's 2,000. And 2,000 multiplied by 5, well, what is, what is 5 2,000s? Well, that would be 2,000, 4,000, 6,000, 8,000, 10,000 rand. So you could then tell your parents or whoever you're with that it's going to cost about 10,000 rand. Now, if you wanted to know what the real price is, I'm just using a calculator quickly. It is 10,300 Rand. Don't you think that the people that you, 10,345, don't you think your parents would be really impressed if you could quickly tell them, oh, it's about 10,000 Rand? They're not going to care that you're a little bit off. They're going to be like, wow, because most people don't have any idea what that is going to cost. So you can give them a very good idea. Okay, this one. So we say rather say 20 instead of 19, and then you rather say 30 instead of 31. Now, 20 multiplied by 30. Now, that still might be a bit confusing for, for you. So what you can do is just change one of the numbers. So 30, you can change that into 10 multiplied by 3, because that's still 30. And um, 20 multiplied by 10 is 200. And then 200 multiplied by 3 is 600. So that would be 600. But if you had to work out the real answer, it's 589. Not bad, hey? Let's do one more example. 9 multiplied by 21. So if someone ever asks you, hey, bro, um, I want to buy 9 packets of chips and they each cost 21 rand, then you can just be like, okay, 10 multiplied by 20, and that would be 200. Now, the real answer, the real answer is... 189. So if you're with a bunch of friends and the real answer is 189 and you tell them, oh, I think it's going to cost about 200 rand, um, then, then yeah, then you can just say, well, I mean, that would look pretty good. Like if the real answer is 189 and you say, yeah, it should be around about 200 rand, that's pretty good.